this is Kai from Kikai Craft and currently we are in Malaga, Spain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. I love the apartment that we're in and of course I love Malaga. It's one of my favorite places to go. Um, Spain is like, I don't know, it's like a place that my heart calls home. Um, but while we're here, I cannot forget that we are a little bit like nomads. We're traveling. And since I couldn't bring my whole stationary kit here, my whole trolleys and drawers full of things, um, I did kind of cut it so that I didn't need to bring all of it. I realized I think I brought more than I should have. So what we're going to do today is I'm just going to share with you what I brought. And after I share with you what I brought, I'm going to share with you what I think I should have um, really really kept and which ones should have stayed home and also which ones I wish I brought with me excuse my voice um, I'm I think I'm running with a little bit of a cold and so it's going to sound a little cloggy okay so let's start first with the journals that I brought with me I brought my nightly journal I'm not yet quite done with this particular one this is from 2023 and I want to finish it until December. I also brought my art uh, journal and my daily journal and my travel journal. Oh yes, and of course I also brought, where is it? So many things now. Oh, my little cat. My cat from Japan's, not Jet Pens, but Japan's PH. They sent me this little, little cat, a little bit of a traveling companion for me. Okay, so I brought five of my eight um, journals at home. So I'm going to share with you which ones I think I should have kept and which ones should have stayed home in terms of journals. This one is a constant companion. So definitely, I think I should keep this. This is my travel journal, so of course, I will keep this. This is my daily journal, my planner and all of that. And I actually brought it thinking that maybe I will have ideas about work, etc. And maybe I could write it here. Now I realize I should not have brought this. If I had any ideas like that, I could have just maybe put it as a note on my phone. So this one could have stayed at home, so I'm going to move this away. This, yes, definitely good idea to bring it when we were in Madrid and we're going back to Madrid. I did a lot of like sketching. Okay, that's not what I did. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ah, so I did a little bit of sketching. Um, I, I did a little bit of practice on how to make, um, what do you call that? Like charming sketches that I'm learning from Domestica. And so this is a definitely good to bring journal. And of course, my nightly journal, definitely something I should bring with me every time I travel uh, for a long time away from home. Like if it's overnight, uh, maybe I could leave this home, but anything longer than two nights, this should be brought with me. Okay, so definitely for journals. Now, you might be wondering why this one is so thick. It's usually quite thin. Um, so let me walk you through what is in my, oh my God, what is in my travel journal. So there are good things and not very good things that I have here. So let me just unpack it for you. Okay, so I have my refill, okay, where I keep all the uh, writings um, and I have this zippered thing that you'll see in a lot of my videos I also have this plastic insert okay and I have a craft journal where I put in a lot of my ephemera so uh, with all these refills one two three and four which one should I keep definitely the travel journal itself Definitely this zipper and actually most of the time I have it looking like this um, And of these two, I don't think I really needed oops, this So after two uh, 
long international travels and a few short ones, I realized that this is not something that I really, really need for me. Um, but definitely a yes for this craft folder because this is where I store all the stickers that I brought and <clears throat> some of the stamps also and a little bit of ephemera that I collect as I travel. Now, could I make this a better um, setup? Yes, instead of having this, I could have a nice little Ziploc instead. So I could just store it and it doesn't really need to live here, um, at least not for long haul trips. For short ones, I suppose this is a good idea. Anyway, the craft folder is definitely a good idea. You can put in your stickers here, um, some of your stamps as well. So definitely something I should keep with me. So let me go ahead and put that there. So in terms of journals, one, two, three, and four, good to have. All right, let's now look at uh, stationary materials that I brought with me. So I brought one, oh yeah, and a clip. This is always important. You should have at least one of this with you because it holds a lot of paper down. Okay, so going back to stationary kits, I have this and I have this big one, which is uh, my travel stationary kit. The one I keep at home is purple. The one I bring with me when I travel is this nice little grayish sort of uh, color. Okay, so let me put this one aside for a second. So let's have a look at this. This is like my painting kit. Um, you will see my permanent fountain, uh, my fountain pen inked with permanent ink. Um, oh yeah, and my filter card set, which I use for my uh, paper shoot camera. We'll go into cameras after this. I have my nice little painting kit. Okay, if you haven't seen it, I actually have it on one of my videos. Maybe I'll leave a link up there for you. Um, and of course I have Yuno's evil eye charm that he sent uh, in my last purchase and I have a slew of um, slew of other brushes and a spray. So which ones do I think I should have brought? Uh, since I don't really paint that regularly, I think I could keep this and definitely should have left this at home. I didn't quite need this. As you can see, it's still quite new and I thought I'd like use it here, but I realized I don't really need to. Um, this is quite good um, because sometimes I do meet children when I travel and it's always good to like uh, let them play with uh, painting for a bit. And so it's always good to have these brushes so you can lend these to them. I brought two, one in my bag and a reserve that I put here and uh, i think that's about it for this particular painting kit yes i should keep this yes of course evil eye charm and yes of course this this one is just a good to have that i have with my camera so we're gonna put that aside i just stored it here so i remember where to put it two brushes all good and oh just so you know i do have another brush here for myself this is a silver silver velvet brush number eight there um and that is good for me so i paint with that um in my other paint kit that i have in my bag all the time it's lighter and it's more compact i have another brush from princeton it's a number four it's a travel brush and it's always good to have there and of course i have my uh, palette with all the ink that I like. <laughs> it's quite messy today because I had a little kid borrow it. Okay, so, uh, so of course, yes, I let little kids use my um, paints whenever I do see them. I think it's important to encourage little ones to paint. So I have this, I have this, and oh, by the way, just so you know, this has my complete uh, palette, just not as much, um, of it since it's a mini kit and i have this to sort of hold that open and i have my own brush plus i keep one of these plastic brushes in case i meet a little kid who wants to paint 
this is a definite bring with me all the time. So I'm just going to put it here. And these definitely good to have with me whenever I travel. So we're just going to put these in. And this, of course, to spray. Now, one additional thing that I think um, painters should have if they don't use the plastic brushes is a little jar of water. This is a bit too big for me. I'm still on the lookout for a thinner one. I actually got this from one of the buffets that we uh, went to and I thought it was pretty good to have with me. And of course this. Okay, and so that's what, that's what you'll find in my paint kits. Definitely something to bring with me when I travel. Next we'll have what's inside my stationery bag. Um, I need my stamp acrylic pad, definitely useful. What else did I squish into this thing? Oh yeah, I thought I'd use this. Maybe I have like little setups. I have yet to do that, but I think it's a good idea to have these. Um, and my ruler, I think this is like definitely should be part, but it's a ruler in case you haven't seen it. Uh, definitely needs to be part of any stationary kit. And inside you'll see a lot of the things that I felt I needed and definitely I've needed quite a number of these things. So you have your glue, you have your tape, scissors, um, what do you call this? Need eraser. Um, actual eraser. I have refills for my pencils. I have to say though that I have not needed this at all. I have pincers for my stickers. There you go. I have another ruler and I have a white gel uh, pen and I have this eraser. So definitely these things are must-haves uh, if you journal. And so I have them in my little plastic container. Definitely something to keep. I also have these because I do keep track of my moods, my medication, definitely something I need to have. And of course, another plastic um, paintbrush. This one is actually brand new, but I thought I'd bring it just in case I needed it. I have this corner puncher. Yes, a definite need. And I have just cables for my stuff, like for charging my printer and so yes definitely something i need i have more stickers here um and they are nice but i don't think i actually needed this for this particular trip i didn't really know but yeah i don't think it's something i need so i'm gonna put that away i have my lovely esther brook b again for a setup that i have yet to make and actually nothing else there i have my world stamp and even if I've just used this maybe twice, I think it's something that I would like to bring with me uh, because it is a travel. And I have this Caveco tin can with all my little stickers, uh, sorry, stamps, sticker and stamps. Mm, maybe next time, instead of having this stamp, I'll have like a gold one. I think that's more vintage and feel. Or maybe if I can squish one more here and maybe let go of some of these stamps. These are like tea stamps which I really really like but I don't know I've actually used them only one time and only one of them too any which way this is good to have I have a loop because I knew I'd be looking at pens um I have not used them at all so maybe this is something I can keep at home um but I knew that this time I was gonna look at pens and maybe it was useful except that the people I got pens from are very knowledgeable people. And so uh, this might be for like any time you want to go on a vintage hunt, vintage pen hunt on these like flea markets, this would be useful. Oh, I have my pen rests, which again, I thought I'd be painting more. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's my little Freya and my little Maya pen rests. Um, I think it's something I would bring with me, but it's not a necessity. So I'm just going to put it aside. Um, then I have some washi tape. This actually I got from here. So maybe you don't need to bring washi tape if the place you're going to go to is a place where you know you'll see some stationery. Oops, 
I will be sharing all the stationery shops that I found in Madrid and Malaga in a future video. So if you're interested, just keep an eye out for that. Um, I also brought some cartridges and I think, or it's my other cartridge. These are quite good to bring with you if you're planning to write. Cartridges are the way to go. Should I have brought huge packs with me? Maybe not. Maybe I could have just gotten like two cartridges from each color because they do take up space. And so maybe just brought a cartridge kit, if you could call it that. Again, washi tape, but this I got from here, so I'm going to put that away. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, I can't believe I have so many of these plastic. Oh, and I, oh yeah. I can't believe I have so many of these plastic brushes with me. Okay, apparently I have another one there. Maybe I need to just bring two. Um, I have some sort of a first aid kit for my fountain pens. And I have not used them, but I think they're quite good to have if you are into fountain pens. I have a nib holder there. I have my brass um, shims here. Brass sheets, sorry. Um, uh, this is just paper that I thought I'd keep for a little bit of background oh yeah and my silver polishing cloth and this has proven to be quite a good thing to bring especially if you're getting pens or yeah so this is quite nice it's also quite dirty all right so that's basically what I have here I'm just gonna leave that there and this is such a godsend this is the HP sprocket with a zinc paper uh, and I have used it so many times where whenever I travel, so I've traveled like quite a number of times near Jakarta and now a little bit far from Jakarta. And this is like, oh, wonderful to have with me. And there's nothing else there. So again, if I would pack this up, definitely bring the printer, definitely bring um, the cable for the printer, definitely would bring these uh, polishing, uh, these things for my fountain pens, the polishing cloth, the little emergency kit. Might not bring so many of these brushes. Would definitely bring my nightly journal, which lives here actually. Would definitely bring my uh, stationary uh, pencil case, <laughs> my stationary case. Definitely bring my little Caveco tin. Definitely bring this. Okay, and in addition, I would bring my stamp because it's quite good to have when you travel. Okay, I'll just put it on top. Definitely will bring the loop when I travel, especially if I know that I'll be looking at vintage pens. Actually, let me just rearrange this a little bit. It looks a little different when I travel. Okay, definitely will bring cartridges, maybe not these many cartridges, but yep, definitely that. And of course, my lovely little pen rests, but maybe I should fix up this uh, very bulky uh, packaging. And yep, my pen case, and of course, my uh, colored Tombos for my track. And this little device right there. In terms of stationary kit, I think I have a little bit more than I need to have. And so this is quite good. Um, oh yeah, talking about inks, let's just move there a bit. So I brought my cartridges and I brought these two as well. Uh, thinking that maybe I will be using them. Cinnabon definitely I used. This one I haven't used at all. In fact, while here, I got another permanent ink. It's a sketch ink, which I think would fit my purpose just a bit better than this, but I don't really know. I just know that I don't think I should have brought this big of an ink bottle with me. If I were to bring any inks, something like this small, I think would do, or even just vials. All right, so those are the stationary kits that I brought with me and the journals that I brought with me. Now let's move forward and let's look at the cameras and the camera paraphernalia that I brought along with me. 
Okay, so for this particular trip, I actually brought along, you could say two plus cameras. I say two plus because the plus would be obviously the cameras on my phone. So I have two phones that I bring. So those are already two cameras. And I brought a, along my Polaroid Go. And as a project, I brought my uh, paper shoot camera. So the Polaroid Go, if you're not familiar with it, is like a new iteration of the older Polaroid cameras. And it's a smaller one because they have bigger ones. And so this is beautiful. I love it. I've gotten a lot of good uh, pictures with this. And I like how instantaneous you have your actual physical uh, picture with it so definitely a good to bring i always bring this in my travels sometimes i don't use them but very very often i use it so good and because i have a project this time i brought along my paper shoot camera paper shoot camera is super thin something you can put in your pocket and uh, it was very very good to bring i brought the filter card set with me as well and if you haven't seen my unboxing i'll put a link up there for you um and so this was very good to bring um but i'm kind of holding off my uh judgment i suppose on that until i actually review the pictures that i took with it so i'm just gonna say feels like it's good to bring but i'm not very very sure about it um, oh yeah, for my Polaroid camera, I also brought two packs of film. So far, I've used two of the packs as each of these boxes have two sets or two packs. So I brought, I've already used two of them and we've been here for like maybe a week and a half already in Spain. Um, and now I have 16 more that I can use. So two boxes of the film. I think would be perfect for your Polaroids. Okay, so stationary kits, journals. Now we go to the pens that I brought along with me. So for this trip, I brought some pens along to use and I brought some pens along to uh, photograph. And I'll go through them with you. So some are going to be inked and some aren't going to be inked. So if you are into fountain pens and you like taking photos of your fountain pens, know that you don't need to ink every single pen when you bring them just to photograph them. Okay, so let's start it off with those that I do have inked. Uh, let me just move a few things away. Let me move my stationary kit a little bit away. Okay. So for this, uh, this trip, I brought these with me and they're not all filled, but quite a number of them have a number of pens. So let's start off with these floating ones. So this one lives in my uh, painting kit right here. This is the one with permanent ink. I have actually brought a few pen with me that I thought I'd finally unbox but I have not needed this. This is actually why I brought this one along. I was thinking maybe I'd use them together, but honestly, I have not needed this pen quite yet because I didn't really have a lot of time to just sit and uh, paint. Because of course, you know, you want to enjoy traveling. But these two, I've definitely used. These are Caveco Lilliputs. This is in fire blue. This is almost always inked with, um, a Cacao do Brazil from uh, Diamine, if I'm not mistaken. And this one, I wanted to try this. This has ba, ba Humbug on it. And it is a Caveco Lilliput in black uh, with a bold nib. So these, well, this one I often bring with me. This one stays in my journaling kit because I don't really use it's in bold so I don't use bold in note taking let me just open it for you so if you see right there yeah it's in bold and so yeah I don't really use bold for everyday notes for me but I do use uh, I think this is a fine or medium sorry a medium one and yes I often use 
midi medium, sorry, I'm a little bit tripping over my words, trying to manage my cold and trying to focus this thing. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's a medium. <laughs> and then I have all these cases. So just so you know, these two cases have my inked pens. So when I travel, these are in my hand carries. This one has my pens for photography. And I don't put them in my carry-on because they're all uninked. And so I don't really need to make sure that they don't cough up or burp up ink. Although at this point, I've already sort of mixed it all together so that some of my ink pens are here and some of those that I wanted to take photos of are here. So whenever I go walking and I feel that maybe I want to take photos of pens, I move them to this one. This is a Galen leather slip and zip and it houses four pens. So currently it has three pens. This is inked, this is inked, this is uninked right now. Although I think I'm going to ink this quite soon. Um, and yeah, so I take them for, for, for what, for foot photographic purposes. Um, yeah, but this one, I always have this one inked. I love the flex nib on that one. This also has inked pens. So there are two here and these are my bohems. I often have these inked and I carry them with me all the time. So whenever I have inked pens, I put them in my carry-on and I make sure that they are standing this way, nib up whenever the plane takes off and whenever the plane lands to sort of mitigate possibilities of it burping ink. These also stand up on my stored nib up if you want to use that in my bag. So as to avoid burping as well. Okay, so inked pens or pens that I want to photograph are in these uh, cases. This is the Galen Leather Duo Slim zippered case. And this is the slip and zip with four pens. So you could say every time I travel, I have about seven, eight pens that I have inked almost all of the time. Now these, this case, this is the 20 pen um, 20 slot leathered zipper or zippered leather pen case from Galen. And again, this has a number of pens. Uh, currently, most of them are uninked, but some of them are inked. And I take them for photography. I take them sometimes because I feel like maybe I want to journal with them at some point. And so they're all here. So you can see all my lovely pens in one place. So far, I have not needed to take anything. Um, what's this? Well, I have needed to take things out of this uh, for photography, um, but I have not needed to ink any one of them. Okay, and then as you can see, I also have this tiny case. This tiny case does not travel with me all the time. I thought I'd bring them with me to Spain in case I find any a vintage pen uh, restorers and I did in fact but because of the holiday season we couldn't really quite uh, get these restored by her. Her name is Julia Gosano and in my subsequent video when we arrive back in Jakarta I'll share with you my experience at her wonderful magical shop. Okay so when you travel if you want to take photos of your pens, having a pen case that can house a number of your pens like this is quite good to have, especially if you know you want to take photos of them. But if you are traveling for say, short uh, duration, like a short trip, something like these might already be good. And maybe throw in a five pen, uh, case as well so you have four five six and then yeah 11 pens plus you know whatever you have uh floating around in your bags and i think that's more than enough that you'll need i still have cat here in my things 
cat lovers, you know exactly what I mean when you say, when I say there's like cat hair everywhere. Okay, and I think that's about it. Okay, so just as a quick uh, rundown overview of things that I think are necessary to bring when you travel and things that are not so necessary to bring. Um, you will need your journaling kit, however big or small it is. Really, at the end of the day, it's uh, how you use them. You'll need your journal. You'll need uh, maybe a printer if you take photos and want to print them out. Again, Sprocket is fantastic. You'll need your little pencil case with all your little scissors and pencils and rulers and glue. Glue is super important. Um, if you use fountain pens, you'll need your refills for sure. And if you track, you'll need whatever tool you need for tracking. For me, it's all of these. Okay, and of course you want to have a little bag to keep it all in for sure. Of course, you'll need your pens with you. Let me just move this aside. You'll need your pens with you, however big or small the collection is that you'd like to bring. And maybe you'll need your cameras. And of course, if you bring a camera with you, you'll need all the paraphernalia that goes with it. But basically, that's it. Your journal, your pens, anything to take photos, if that's something you wish, or to stamp with, if that's something you wish as well. Uh, so far, I really, really think I brought more than I needed. If I could like redo all of this, maybe I'd bring lesser pens. Maybe I'd just bring a smaller pen kit with me. Um, but definitely for my journals, the four that I brought, minus the one for planning, is just the perfect number for me. I might not have brought a lot of inks, with me um but definitely a few cartridges would have just done the trick now um that's it for what i think people should bring with them as they travel in my instagram um what's this feed i'll take a photo and show you the absolute necess necess necessary things um and i'll share also the things that i think are just kind of necessary but not really so thank you very much for joining me as i talked about the things that i brought with me on a trip and which ones i regretted bringing with me and which ones that i thought were just great ideas to bring this is kai from kikai crafts in malaga right now and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye, everyone.